today on Running to Him. God empowers us if we are submitting ourselves to Him. Conversely, we are impotent if we trust in ourselves. Today's reading is 2 Corinthians chapter 3, and we will concentrate on verses 5 through 6. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 5 through 6 says, Not that we are adequate in ourselves to consider anything as coming from ourselves, but our adequacy is from God, who has also made us adequate as servants of a new covenant, not of the letter of the Spirit, for the letter kills, but the Spirit gives life. Today I'd like to talk about pride. While I'm going to focus on those who have authority over others, for example, Sunday school teachers, deacons, church staff, ministerial staff, the subject applies to everyone. We tend to view the ministries God gives us, no matter how small or big, as our own. Because of our thinking, we are hurt when we don't do things well, and sometimes blaming others and sometimes blaming outside influences. But we rarely look to ourselves or even God. So let's get the God aspect out of the way. Ministries like us have a lifespan. Sometimes they outlast us, such as churches that have been around for centuries, and sometimes they die. And like us, they are part of God's plan. God causes them to prosper, and God closes the doors. This is all in God's timing. The last pastor of a church of his existence may be a very godly person and a good leader, but if the end has come for the church, it comes. On the other hand, we have a free will, and to do good or bad is we exercise that free will. It is to the good when we are led by God and submit to his will. It is to the bad when we take on God's rules ourselves and lead the ministry the way we want. A church may grow in numbers and be dead as a doornail. The issue is always pride when that happens. It is God who makes us adequate and not ourselves. Look at the great women and men of the scriptures and of the church. They were remarkable not because they did it their way, but they submitted themselves to God and did their work in God's way. Hillsong Church and Lake Point Church can be our examples. Hillsong Church is based in Australia, and it began as a small gathering of people and became a powerhouse in the world of Christian worship music and church planning. There were and are good people serving God there. But the leadership believed their own public relations, and they began to build themselves rather than God. At least two of their leaders ended their marriages through having sexual affairs, and others began to believe that they were superior and abused the position God gave them. Lake Point is a different story. Based in Rockwall, Texas, they built the church on the submissive strength displayed by their pastor. As a result, Lake Point became a powerhouse in service and ministry, always desiring God's service. And while they are large and have a big budget, a significant part of that budget is for ministry outside the direct sphere of influence. They may help other churches, fund mysteries to the homeless, and public health ministries. Many of these ministries are off-budget, meaning 100% of the dollars given for that ministry go to that ministry, with the overhead being paid in another way. God empowers us if we are submitting ourselves to Him. Conversely, we are impotent if we trust in ourselves. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.